aimed specifically at Muslims, stating they are the least able to assimilate and integrate into Australian society and other countries, and you've labelled them welfare bludgers and criminals. What evidence is that based on? Uh, just statistics. Uh, over 50% of the working age Muslims in this country today aren't working. Uh, they're over-represented uh, in um, uh, illegal activity. Uh, so, yes, yeah, statistics are, are what uh, I base my um, comments on. Where do you get those statistics from? ABS is a good place. I condemn the racist remarks of Senator Anning last night as soon as I heard of them, and I've condemned them already today, and I condemn them again here in this House. Mr President, yesterday in this chamber we saw a speech that was not worthy of this parliament. We saw a speech which did not reflect a nation which is being built by people from every country, every part of this world. Particularly offensive is, is using the term final solution, a term of course used in relation to the mass killing of Jews in Nazi Germany. How is, how is that sort of language helpful? I mean, did you intend to be racist and hateful? You are a disgrace. And don't smile at me. Don't smile at the rest of us. People lost their lives. And you think it's a joke. You besmirched this place. You should be ashamed of yourself. I hope you're soon gone. This centre sought to further fan, fan the flames of division. How pathetic. How shameful. He was suspended from federal parliament by controversial Senator Fraser Anning has been kicked out of Australia's most exclusive aviation club. Available free to all federal politicians, the Qantas Chairman's Lounge offers fine dining and generous seat upgrades. The ban follows united condemnation of the Senator in Parliament for blaming the Christchurch massacre on Muslim migration. It's far from a joke, and now knowing that that term final solution was used in relation to, to the era of Hitler um, and the mass killing of Jews, would you like to use this, this platform? Uh, absolutely not. Parliament is unified in its condemnation of this appalling comment. You think it's a joke? What an absolute disgrace. He has no right to have the privilege to stand in this place and spout that. No, I don't apologise for anything I say. Well, how many people in this room agree with what the Senator said? We're here to discuss. All of you agree. 1,000%.